It's funny how fashions change and new trends quickly become the established norms take the bobber. Look for example. Nowadays, bobber styling revolves around a set of fat balloon tires. However, back in 1940s post-war America the first bobbers were very different. During this era, riders ripped any excess weight off bikes to create strip-back machines. U201A bobber is derived from the term bobtailed, alluding to their cut-down rear mudguards. XA0 This is why with their first bobber, launched late 2016, Triumph gave it the same front end as the Bonneville T120. Keeping true to tradition, but with the bobber black, Triumph have gone for the modern bobber look. Triumph have swapped the bobber's T120 derived 19 inches front wheel for a 16 incher with a fat Avon Cobra tire. Holding this wheel is a set of beefy new show of forks and completing the front end's transformation is an extra disc and caliber. Now Brembo instead of Nissan, which the original bobber sorely needed. As the name suggests, the black is painted in two options of Henry Ford's favorite color and devoid of the first. Bobber's chrome. Any shiny parts are now covered in a moody black paint and as a nod to the bike's modern ethos. The headlight is an LED unit with daytime running lights. DRL. XA0 other than the addition of one button cruise control and its associated single switch gear. The black and bobber are identical. Interestingly both models have the same rake, trail and wheelbase, which is promising as the bobber surprised MCN with its adept handling. But what does the addition of that chunky front tire do to this trait? Visually, you have to say the chunky front end works. In the flesh the black looks low and moody, like a two-wheel hot rod and once moving it's a total revelation. I've